We are now being joined by Ugochi Emmanuel Chinonye, National President of Haji Youth in Imo State. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Chinonye. Oh. That was a very Good evening, gory. Mother. Good evening to you. That was a very gory sight. We're just um, witnessing from your place. Uh, can you tell us what the latest situation of things, you know, are in that place now? All right. Uh, it's a very gory situation. And uh, we're the whole thing age. In fact, the, the area is still mourning. Because people woke up one morning and saw about 100 and uh, something. We can't even recognize that. It's something very bad. But the community, the local government is still mourning over this. For now, let us say that uh, the people are mourning. No much activities around that area for now. What can you tell us about the illegal refinery operation in the area? How long has it been going on there? Uh, in as much as I can remember, it has been on for a very long time. And uh, between two to three years now, at a point there was a total clampdown on them. The new brigade commander, Atobi, is a 340. He clamped down on them and, uh, for a very long time, just say like two, three months, there have not been oppressions around that area. As in this our area, the Ohaji Luma. Has not been anything around that area for a very long time now. Only for us to wake up Saturday morning, see flames and smoke from everywhere. So that's all I can say for now. Illegal refining and bunkering have been on the rise uh, in, in some parts of the country, and that's uh, despite the huge risks involved. Why do you think people still get involved in it? That is one thing that is confusing me because ordinarily the risk, the risk in that business is far more greater than the gain they gain from it. There is no reason why somebody will just decide to commit suicide. Somebody that is into this bunker of a thing, the place is prone to fire at every given opportunity. There is so many times who have called the youth that you, it's not that you start doing something else going into this bunker of a thing. And you know, most of them are people who are granted amnesty earlier, and uh, the government are still finding it difficult to incorporate them fully into what they were trained for. And uh, to them, some of them will tell you instead of them carrying arms, and uh, that it's better for them to do this. But the risk is much. So I can't tell how best to handle this situation, but I tell you, proper sensitization will help. But you are, you are the, yeah, you are the national president of Ahaji Youth in Imo State. Yes. And you're saying proper sensitization would help. Why didn't you properly sensitize these people before now? Yeah, we well, have done that. But I think government, government, government need to get involved. You know, when you tell somebody something, you feel that maybe as a brother, he may not take it serious. You have government coming in, telling them this is the consequence of doing this and that. And see how they can rehabilitate some of these boys. See how you can train them. The sensitization does not end only in talking. You have to incorporate them. Give them skill acquisition. We are from Niger Delta. And from what is coming from this place, every youth from Niger Delta is supposed to be living well. When somebody is idle, definitely the person will look for something to meet up with his needs. And to them, this is the only available business for them now. So we have tried on our own to see how we can reduce the menace of this bunker. But each time you try, you will still see people doing it. They will always tell you how do you want us to survive. To them, they believe that is the only way they can survive. And most of the people doing this thing are not from our state. Some of them, we are from River, River State, Bayasa, and Delta. These were people the federal government trained in different schools during the amnesty program. And to them, since there is no refinery for them to work, 
They devised this means and saw it as a local way to refine. I think that is where all these things coming from. The people they try and they shoot, bring them back, see where they can fix them, so that they will not have this idea of okay, let me go and build my own local refinery where I will build my own uh, process, uh, process my own food and sell to people. Well, clearly, Emmanuel, this calls for urgent national interventions. Thank you so much for your time. Ugoji Emmanuel Chinonye, the national president of Haji Youth in Imo State. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.